it's so cold and I can't feel my lips. <sighs> that means I'm about to have kids any minute because it's too cold to have babies out here. It's baby goat time. So lots of people ask, how do you know when your goat is about to give birth? Hopefully what you've done is you have some idea when she's been bred and you have some idea when she's due. But once you start the watch, and I'm on the watch right now, you want to know exactly when she is going to go into labor. So uh, here are some things that I have learned. Number one, if you've had just gorgeous 50, 60, 70 degree days for weeks, and all of a sudden you get a gigantic snowstorm, that is when your doe is going to give birth. Also, if you have said to your, your goat and to yourself, oh, you know, you can have babies any day. I'm so excited, except for a Wednesday. I've got a big thing going on on a Wednesday. That is the day that she will give birth. Um, so just anticipate that this is going to happen at the least convenient time. That is how it always goes. But once you're there and babies are due, here are the things that I look for. Number one, I always check the ligaments that are holding up their tail. If you go to your goat and you rub down along their spine towards their tail, you will feel two kind of almost V-like ligaments that hold her tail up. When she is about to give birth, all of the hormones in her body loosen up those ligaments in order to make it easier for her to have kids. And you can feel those start to disappear. Although it's a joke, that kids always come in snowstorms, a change in the barometric pressure actually can put your goat into labor. Also, uh, anticipate that it's gonna happen in the middle of the night. So have your boots and your flashlight and your gloves all ready to go. Um, one of the other things to check for that happens to my goats, it doesn't happen to every goat. My goats have a harder time holding up their tail, so their tail will actually start to get kind of floppy, will flop to one side or the other, and that's an impending birth. Um, also, you'll see goats who have never had kids before start to develop an udder. Those who have will start to, quote, bag up, meaning that their udder starts to fill in anticipation of those kids. So I always look for the udder. I look for the ligaments. Um, also, this one is kind of gross, but you know, like, look, we're having babies. There's just some reality to this situation. Look for some kind of mucus or discharge. And um, oftentimes that is an indicator that she's gonna have babies here soon. So I have Foxy who has loose but not completely gone ligaments. Her udder is certainly starting to fill up, no question about that. She has a little bit of a floppy kind of wet noodle tail going on and she has gross discharge. So I am anticipating that she is probably going to have kids within the next few days. And then of course it's supposed to snow. So that's, that's about how this is gonna go, of course. And it's really cold, it's 19 degrees, I'm dying. That's what I'm looking for a few days out. Now when we're a few hours out, she'll start to separate herself from the herd. She'll look for like a nice warm kind of secluded spot and she'll start to paw at the ground, lay down, try to make herself comfortable, get back up again, paw at the ground some more, lay down, and just try to do whatever she can to, to make herself comfortable and kind of isolate herself a little bit. So that's the behavior that I look for. Also, they'll start to kind of like softly make calls to their stomach. They're talking to their babies. It's, it's actually super sweet. Um, so that's what I'm looking for a few hours or even a few minutes out. That's when you want to grab your towels, your gloves, your thermometer. Um, I use one of those little nasal sucker things for babies in order to help clear passageways as babies are born. And um, then you want to try to not mess with the situation as much as possible, as long as it looks like she's not in distress. So anyway, that is how you tell that a baby is about to come. And so I'm probably in this situation because she still has some ligaments. I'm in the days, not hours category, but I will be out here every hour or two checking on her, especially because it's like 19 degrees. 